in HD. ZNS Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Everyday. Good Sunday evening all, I'm C.S. Gatterly and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. Thanks so much for joining us. The weather tops the national news tonight as the Met Office has been issuing alerts all day advising the Bahamas that showers and thunderstorms associated with an area of low pressure within 100 miles of the Turks and Caicos Islands had become more organized and concentrated overnight. The Met Office said the system could form into Tropical Depression 12 or Tropical Storm Kate within the next few days. Met officials will further advise that a tropical storm warning could be issued for the central and southern Bahamas soon as well. Forecaster Greg Thompson joins us live in the Weather Center with the latest details on this system. Good evening, Greg. Hey, good evening, Sias, and good evening, everybody. Of course, yeah, you mentioned uh, we could possibly see tropical depression number 12, and we could start issuing alerts later on tonight as the system is uh, trying to get itself organized just to the east of the Turks and Caicos Islands and moving towards the uh, northwest. Satellite pictures showing things really shaping up with the system out there. Most of the convection staying to the east of the islands and over the open Atlantic, but we do have a trailing trough across Hispaniola that's expected to pull up towards the uh, north and west with this system. Uh, the system has a weak low, level weak low level circulation that is right about there. And uh, it's uh, losing uh, the daylight, so it's going to be losing some of that energy uh, as the evening goes on. But uh, it's still in an area favorable for some development over the next 12 to 24 hours. So we're asking residents across the southeast and the central Bahamas to continue to monitor the progress of the system as it continues to jog towards the northwest. Turks and Caicos Islands, Meguana, Long Island, San Salvador, you guys could see some showers and thunderstorms beginning tonight through tomorrow as a trailing trough hanging out across Hispaniola is going to be pulling up towards the uh, north and west. This is the showers and thunderstorms associated with that trough hanging out of the system. And once again, I mentioned most of the uh, convection associated with the system itself staying to the east. Lost some uh, strong convections earlier today, but by tonight, some of that starting to pop up once again. And uh, this is how things will be shaping over, up over the next couple of days. Low pressure system right now, but the National Hurricane Center is going to continue to monitor the system. It's likely that it could be upgraded to a tropical depression within the next 12 to 24 hours. It's going to be jogging towards the northwest, skirting the Bahamas and staying out to the east of us. But showers and thunderstorms associated with that trough hanging behind the system will be moving towards the uh, north and west and affecting the southeast and central Bahamas, some possibly affecting the uh, northwest Bahamas. What's going to happen is this blocking trough is going to keep the system to the uh, east, preventing it from moving towards the west. But by Tuesday, we expect it to take a jog towards the north and eventually move to the northeast and away from us and into the open Atlantic. Siesca.